Greetings everyone. Today we dive into a fascinating topic, the plant-based meat scam. It's a controversy that's sweeping across our dinner tables, stirring up debates in kitchens and restaurants alike. We'll delve into the truth about red meat, the complex composition of plant-based meat, its potential impact on our health, and the environmental footprint of beef. So prepare yourself for a journey that will challenge what you thought you knew about your food. Strap in as we debunk some popular myths and unveil the reality. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, red meat. There's been a lot of chatter about red meat, giving it a reputation that could use some clarification. Red meat is a powerhouse of nutrients. It's a prime source of high-quality protein, essential for muscle growth and maintenance. It's rich in vitamins, particularly vitamin B12, which you can't get from plants. It also boasts a good dose of iron, which helps to keep our energy levels up and supports a healthy immune system. Now it's true, red meat has been linked with certain health risks when consumed in excess. But remember the key word here is excess. Moderation is the name of the game. As part of a balanced diet, red meat can certainly find its place on our plates. So not all that is red is dangerous. Now what about its green counterpart? Now let's delve into the world of plant-based meats. You might imagine plant-based meats to be a simple blend of veggies and grains, but the reality is far more complex. These products are engineered to mimic the taste, texture, and sizzle of real meat, and achieving that likeness is no small feat. First up, protein. Plant-based meats are typically packed with proteins derived from soy, peas, or lentils. These proteins undergo a process called extrusion, where they're heated, cooled, and shaped to resemble the fibrous texture of meat. Next, we have fats, usually coconut or sunflower oil, incorporated to give that juicy mouthfeel we associate with a beef burger. But unlike the naturally occurring fats in real meat, these are processed and added separately. Then comes the flavor, achieved through a cocktail of natural and artificial flavorings. For instance, Impossible Foods uses a molecule called heme, derived from genetically engineered yeast, to recreate the distinctive taste of meat. To make these ingredients stick together, food manufacturers use binders like methyl cellulose, a form of cellulose that thickens when heated. Added colors like beet juice give the product its meat-like hue. Lastly, these products are often fortified with vitamins and minerals like B12 and iron, which are naturally found in animal meats but are less prevalent in plants. So while plant-based meats are indeed derived from plants, they undergo extensive processing and contain a number of additives. Sounds less natural than you thought, right? Now that we know what goes into these products, let's talk about how they affect our health. In our quest for healthier alternatives, we often find ourselves reaching for plant-based meats, but are they really healthier? Not necessarily. These products are highly processed and often contain a laundry list of additives to mimic the taste, texture, and appearance of real meat. Consuming such heavily processed foods could lead to health issues over time, including heart disease and diabetes. On the other hand, responsibly sourced lean red meat can provide a host of benefits. It's packed with high-quality proteins, essential vitamins, and minerals like iron and zinc. Consuming red meat in moderation, as part of a balanced diet, can contribute to overall health and well-being. So, while plant-based meats may appear to be a green and guilt-free choice, it's important to peel back the layers and understand what you're really consuming. So it seems the green option isn't always the healthier one. But health isn't the only concern, what about the environment? Beef production does have a significant impact on our environment. It's a major contributor to deforestation, as vast swaths of forests are cleared to make room for grazing cattle or growing feed crops. This process not only destroys habitats, but also releases large amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. Moreover, cattle themselves produce methane, another potent greenhouse gas. Through their digestive processes, a single cow can emit up to 100 kilograms of methane each year. That's about the same emissions as a car burning through 400 liters of petrol. However, it's important to remember that not all beef production is equal. Sustainable farming practices can help mitigate these environmental effects. Rotational grazing, for instance, can enhance soil health, sequester carbon, and reduce the need for deforestation. So beef isn't the sole villain in the environmental narrative. But what if we all turn vegetarian? Ponder for a moment a world devoid of meat eaters. It's an intriguing scenario with potential repercussions that extend far beyond our dinner plates. Firstly, let's consider farming. Livestock farming, much maligned for its environmental impact, also plays a crucial role in supporting economies, particularly in developing countries. 
A sudden shift to vegetarianism could destabilize these economies and disrupt livelihoods. Now, let's talk about food diversity. A balanced diet is key to good health, and meat provides essential nutrients that are difficult to obtain from plant-based sources alone. The global shift to vegetarianism could potentially limit our dietary diversity and create nutritional gaps. Lastly, while it's true that livestock farming contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, it's also a fact that well-managed grazing systems can help sequester carbon, playing a significant role in combating climate change. A vegetarian world may not be as green as it seems. So here's the meat of the matter. We've journeyed through the truths and myths surrounding plant-based meats and traditional red meat. We've dissected what really goes into plant-based meats and how they, along with their red meat counterparts, impact our health. The environmental implications of beef production too have been laid bare, along with the potential consequences of a vegetarian world. It's clear that the issue isn't as black and white as it's often portrayed. Both plant-based and red meats have their pros and cons. The key here is balance and making informed dietary choices. It's about understanding the implications of our food choices and finding a middle ground that nourishes our bodies without harming our planet. Remember, it's not just about green or red, it's about making informed choices. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.